It's Thursday, August 8th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's top stories. Another public university in Alabama is shutting down its diversity, equity, and inclusion office. University of South Alabama President Joe Bonner announced the closure in a letter to the school community last week. The move follows the passage of an Alabama law this year that outlaws DEI programs. Auburn University, Jacksonville State, and the University of Alabama system, including UAB, announced the shuttering of their DEI programs earlier this year. The other four university systems have pledged to find positions for former DEI staff, but South Alabama is eliminating at least two positions as a result of the closure. The new state law limits the use of public funds for DEI, as well as the ability of public employees to discuss so-called divisive concepts person violating the measure could lose their job. UA and UAB are program sponsors on WBHM, but our news and business departments operate independently. Two bills that would remove library board members and Department of Archives board members at will are to be considered by the Alabama legislature. According to the Alabama Political Reporter, the bills would allow board members to be removed without just cause. Similar bills stalled in the state legislature last year. The legislation, sponsored by Republican State Senator Chris Elliott, appears to be inspired by recent controversies over LGBTQ content. Elliott took $5 million out of the Department of Archives and History's budget this year when they held an event with the Invisible Histories Project, a group trying to archive LGBTQ history in the state. And the family of a Hoover High football player calls for the school's head coach to be fired. Head football coach Drew Gilmer and defensive coordinator Adam Helms were put on leave yesterday by the school system. The move follows the release of a video that appears to show abusive behavior by two coaches towards a player. An attorney for the football player seen in that video said that player was subjected to extreme humiliation and emotional distress as a result of the actions of coaches entrusted with the safety and well-being of students. School officials say they are investigating the matter and have named an interim head coach. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org. And if you haven't already, check out our local newscast during WBHM's broadcast of Morning Edition and the Afternoons, All Things Considered, each weekday on 90.3 WBHM, Birmingham.